The striking situation at Manchester United is about to take center stage. United, the Red Devils, are set to table a bid for that man, Rasma Hoyland. But what kind of bid is it going to be? That, but also we have updates concerning uh, the Andre Onana situation as United look to price him out of Inter Milan. We also get to talk about uh, Mason Greenwood and what the status is of one of the most exciting young players at Manchester United. Welcome to the hotspot. My name is Webb and here again to ban you strictly about news concerning Manchester United. Now the latest we do get in is that Manchester United are set to table a bid for Rasmus Hoyland after tabling bids of course for Mason Mount who they signed. We always knew the goalkeeper, uh, goalkeeper is going to come next and Onana's bid has been placed in the first and the second which was rejected. Then the talks are going on probably a third bid will be going in soon and maybe that will be the last. Now United I believe to be preparing already uh, the bid for Rasmus Hoyland that should be placed in soon. Now this bid is believed to be in the region of 50 million pounds. Now literally what that would mean is that Manchester United are planning to just exactly match Atalanta's valuation of the player because according to what we've been hearing and mostly from Fabrizio Romano, Atalanta value Rasmus Hoyland at 60 million to 70 million euros. Now that's about 51 million pounds. That's 60 million euros. 60 million euros is about 51 million pounds. So if United are planning to table a bid of 50 million pounds for, uh, for Rasmus Hoyland, then certainly they are trying, they are meeting. What, what that means is United are willing to meet in their first bid, not to waste time, I think, with the back and forth. They are willing to meet uh, Atlanta's valuation of Rasmus Hoyland. Now, I think the ideal summer, and this, this is my honest opinion, we would all be here dancing and celebrating if Manchester United signed a striker. We would have, in the ideal world, we would have wanted Harry Kane or Victor or Simhen, the best strikers in the world. It's obviously, because of the financial situation, we are never going to get those. And Rasmus Hoyland has always been the other target for Eric Ten Hag. Respected his 20, scored 9 goals in 35 games in the Serie A last season for Atalanta. He broke onto the scene and is surely a promising player. But at what point are we going to see Manchester United getting players for the right fee? I've been saying it here that for me, I've never felt like Rasmus Hoyland is worth even £40 million. Pounds. Is he promising? Yes. In a few years, can he be worth that? Yes. Meaning, you can cater for that in terms when if, if you include add-ons. But for United to come out and bid £50 million pounds for Rasmus Hoyland, I feel like whereas United desperately need a striker, for me, I don't think that would be a smart uh, move. I think, again, that would be a classic uh, example of the poor negotiation we keep talking about Manchester United. It would be as if a panic buy, uh, to, to say the least, uh, because... I know, of course, there are not so many options of strikers around, and that's why Atalanta feel like the fact that United are so interested. Remember, United have already agreed personal terms with, uh, with Rasmus Hoyland. He does want to join Manchester United. He's a fan of Manchester United. But I feel like United are making themselves too vulnerable with the way they approach these players, and that's why clubs will come out and overprice them. I credit Inter Milan, for, to be honest, I think uh, Inter Milan's valuation of, of, of Onana is, is decent. For the quality of the goalkeeper he is right now in this market, it's decent. If Manchester United was, be, was bidding £50 million pounds cash for Andrew Nana, I would be okay. I would be celebrating. I would be thinking, get him. It's, that's a bargain. But Rasmus Hoyland, an initial bid of £50 million pounds for me is so much on the higher side. It's so much. Whereas we are desperate for a striker. And I, I mean, and I'm not saying he can't come in and bang in the goals and shock me and I come here and swallow my words. But based on what we know, what is there now, his quality, his you know age, he's still growing, he's just broke into the Danish national team, I feel like that would be too much. And United have got to reach a point when they say enough is enough, we are done overspending on players, we need to, to sign the right players for the right fee. Because 50 million in this state, when United is crying about money, I think wouldn't make sense. Now of course, the bid is expected to go in, uh, but uh, maybe the 50 million pounds will be the total, or including the add-ons, but uh, maybe then uh, th that the initial fee should be about 30 million and maybe 20 million in add-ons if we win the Champions League or the treble. Because for me, really, for you to, to, to be able to, 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 to go for a young player, promising player, prospect, and table 50 million pounds, for me, doesn't make sense at all. Again, for me, 
whereas we need a striker and that's the signing that will make everyone you know jump from their seat and all jump up and celebrate is you know if united signed a, a striker i think it has got to be for the right fee but that's the situation now but also remember mason greenwood is on his way back and uh we are not sure yet exactly where he will go of course we know that uh, jose Mourinho has clearly hinted that uh, he wants him and uh, he wants to take him to AS Roma and uh, price him out of the misery at Man United because not so many people are clear about their feelings about him. Some people want him, others don't. So Jose Mourinho is saying, come to me. He knows how good he can be, this kid. So he's saying, okay, come to me to ask AS Roma, which is good, which would be ideally a good thing for him to return. But if you think about it, if Man United is not, to get, is not going to get a world-class striker, Harry Kane or Victor Osimhen, Rasmus Hoyland, who is now the preferred target for Manchester United, should have the best players around him, who, the players who are going to make him the best player he can be. And for me, those, two, th those players include Mason Greenwood. So, whereas Mason Greenwood has got the issues he's dealing with, and I've been thinking about this, and I'm thinking... I mean, what's the worst that can happen if we let him there, if we bring him back and you know, have him there, throw him in the pool? Yes, it would look like you're throwing him in the deep end, but yeah, he's a world-class, young, promising player. Throw him in the deep end, bring him back. The fans are desperate now. The Man United fans are desperate for him to return. You, they will back him, and if the home fans are backing you, let him start by only playing home games. Let the fans back him at home. He will pick up. Of course, the visiting fans would boo him and stuff. But if his home games is starting, at least you will know he's going to be have the, the support of, the, of, of, of most of the fans, the home fans. But there are reports suggesting that Manchester United could go into a swap deal with Atalanta uh, for, 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 for Resmus Hoyland and have Mason Greenwood join the, go, go the opposite way. I feel like, yes, whereas that would give United Rasmus Hoyland, I feel like it would not exactly solve the bigger problem for United because Rasmus Hoyland is not world class that any player you put around him will make him good. Rasmus Hoyland, being a promising player, he will need the best players at United around him and those for me include Mason Greenwood. He has proven that he can score goals but also he's a good player and also he will give Rasmus Hoyland the proper competition because if he's not scoring the goals, uh, that's Hoyland, uh, Greenwood would score them, Marcus Rashford is scoring them on the, from the left. So I feel like for me the swap deal would not be the best option. I still think the ideal front three in the circumstances United is in right now, the ideal front three for Eric Ten Hag would be Rasmus Hoyland who is the target uh, number nine United wants now, Marcus Rashford and Mason Greenwood. So the swap deal again, which has been reportedly, uh, you know, uh, uh, emerged on the table because, like I told you, there are debates going on. If you re uh, in my last video, there are debates going on about Mason Greenwood and whether he will come back at United or not. His colleagues are back in training at Carrington and he's not. So the, the debates are going on. The footballing side is saying the boy is free. He's technically free to go and play football. He's a good footballer. We want strikers. We are struggling for goals. We have the goals here. But the commercial side is saying, no, he can't play. So there is a, a battle uh, going on between the, the two at Manchester United. There is division at the club because of Mason Green. Now, that's how good he is. For me, I think the fact that we, have not, we are not going to get a world-class striker, the right decision for footballing reasons would be to keep Greenwood around, not take him uh, in a swap deal uh, for, for, for Rasmus Hoyland. Because again, Hoyland will come and he goes the other way. We would have solved a quarter of the problem, not, half, not, 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 not the whole of it. Because Hoyland then will struggle with these Antones who probably cannot supply him balls with the Jadon Sancho, Sancho's who have flopped already. He will need Mason Greenwood and Marcus Rashford to be flying in from his opposite ends of him for him to flourish. For me, that is what I think has got to be done. Uh, but as it is right now, there are reports saying United are contemplating a swap deal in their try to, you know, they're des as they're desperate to get a striker in Rasmus Hoyland. Uh, Mason Greenwood would, would imagine a swap deal against probably uh, David, uh, rather Eric Ten Hag's will because certainly Ten Hag does want the player to return. He has been clear, but it's not fully his decision. But I think he's about to get a pr that point when he will stamp his authority and say, you know what, no, I want the player back. He's good enough. For footballing reasons, he should be here playing football. Uh, but, again, whereas we expect a bid to go in for Rasmus Hoyland, we do think, we do want it to be the, for the right uh, bid.
Whereas we are desperate to sign players, we should again use this, op this opportunity to correct the wrongs that have been made by our footballing directors and CEO for over, you know, spending on players and then, you know, put them on so many high wages, they flop a few years later and you have no one to take them because they're on crazy wages. So they will, they will be comfortable. Jadon Sancho will be comfortable being on the bench because he's earning 350,000 quid a week. No club in the world, not even in Saudi Arabia, will give him that money. But that's because he signed the, the, the excitement. United, I mean, at times we feel like we sign players out of impulse. We are impulsive in our signings. So a player has been hot for a season or two. He's young. Uh, certainly he can make mistakes. You will just give him crazy money and disorganize him. He flops. And then he's on a long contract. He's earning so much money. He feels he's there. He doesn't want to go. But he's contracted. No one wants to take him on loan because they can't pay a quarter of their, their wages. No one wants to buy him. So you, you create a problem for yourselves that you cannot even get rid of. So I feel for me that uh, whereas we are desperate for a striker, Rasmus Hoyland will, should be coming in for the right fee. And the right fee can only be up to about, okay, because of the craziness of the market lately and our desperacy, at most, at most 40 million pounds plus maybe add-ons. 10 million in add-ons, depending on how he performs and what we win. But not if, you know, an initial 50 million pounds offer or cash offer for, 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 for Rasmus Hoyland. I feel like that would be wrong. But also, I think now the best decision for United in the circumstances we are in, and it would be a risk because you don't know a player who has not been playing at the topmost level for 18 months, you don't know how good he will look. But you can only find out by giving him a chance in the preseason, like it is starting, it has started now. Mason Greenwood should be there. There's no reason why he should be playing alone, uh, training alone. He should be there with the team and they should be assessing the situation and seeing, you know, what goes on. He should be prepared now. If he's not fit enough to come back and play, it would make sense. But you've given him a chance because he's a young player who is hungry to return. And probably now he's even more motivated. We know that players get psyched by such situations. When such things happen to players, they are more fired up and motivated. You have personal challenges. I know Ryan Ferdinand at some point his career was gone. He had personal issues. He bounced back strong to, to fight and prove himself. So maybe this is the challenge he needed to prepare him to be a tougher, to get the mentality of a world-class player at Manchester United. You know, it's early morning and you hear the, you, you hear the, 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 uh, the cocks, you know, crawling. So, so, but yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the situation at Manchester United. And uh, yeah, we do hope the bid will go in soon. And we also expect that uh, uh, Onana's third bid will be tabled soon. And it should be the final one. United should be confirming Onana probably before the close of business tonight. But the next up will be the last mass Hoyland bid. But reports coming through suggest that United are planning to table a bid of 50 million pounds or include Mason Greenwood in a swap deal. Again, I'm against both. Whereas I want Rasmus Hoyland, I want a striker to come in. It should be for the right fee. S subscribe to the hotspot. My name is Webb. Strictly Manchester United talk here. See you later.